Hey guys! Today I'm going to teach all of you how to make high quality YouTube thumbnails for free. Let's get started. Before we get started, let's go over everything that you'll need. You'll need a computer, a video you want to make a thumbnail for, and a verified YouTube channel. The channel needs to be verified in order for you to be able to add a custom thumbnail. I'm not going to explain how to verify a YouTube channel because it's pretty easy and you can just Google it. With that out of the way, we can actually get started. First, open up Photoshop. If you're cheap like me and you don't have Photoshop, you can still make great thumbnails through a free online photo editor. My favorite is Pixlr Editor, and so I'm going to be showing footage of that for the rest of the tutorial, but it should be easy to apply to Photoshop. To find it, just Google Pixlr Editor, and it should be the first option. Next, you should click on this button in the center that says Create a New Image. That will give you a box with a few more options. You can name it whatever you like, and then make sure to set the dimensions to 1920 by 1080. Now you have your template done, and you can start working. The first thing you need for a good YouTube thumbnail is a background. There are a few approaches you can take for this. You can either have some sort of colorful background, or you can have a picture. I highly recommend using a picture as your background. It makes the thumbnail look much more realistic and professional. If you're going to take a picture to use as your background, make sure that the focus of your picture is somewhere near the center, but still leaves some free space in the picture. This will be really important later. I'm going to take a picture of my desk setup for this video. Notice that I'm putting the computer in the center, but still leaving some space on top. If you're not going to take a picture, you can take a screenshot from somewhere in your video. This is what I usually do with my thumbnails. Once you have your picture chosen, bring it into the editor by scrolling your mouse over the layer button at the top, clicking open image as layer, and selecting your picture. Now that we're done with the background, we can start adding more stuff on top of it. There are three things that you should have in a good thumbnail. Relevant imagery, text, and personal branding. If you used a picture for the background of your thumbnail, you should have relevant imagery already covered. If you think that you need more, you can bring in more images in the same way that you brought in the background. You can resize anything you bring in by going to edit and clicking free transform. Make sure to hold shift while you're resizing so nothing gets distorted. You can also move the pictures around with the move tool. Remember, all of your images should be big enough to be recognizable when the thumbnail is on YouTube and they should be somewhere near the center. Then, you can start working with text. The text in your thumbnail should either reinforce the title of the video or expand on the title of the video. Text can be incredibly useful when used well, and using it well isn't very difficult. There are three rules that you need to follow in order to use text well. Make it readable, make it big, and make it concise. We'll go through these rules as they apply. To make text, Click on the Type tool, which is the letter A on the left side. Then, click on the part of the picture where you want the text to be. Remember how I told you to leave some space earlier? That's where we're going to put the text, so it doesn't cover up your imagery. Here's where being concise comes in. People don't want to read more than they absolutely have to, so the faster you can get your point across, the better. Once you have your message, type it in the text session. Set the font size to 120 for now, and we'll make it bigger later. Part of making it readable is that you should pick a font that is relatively simple, but still good looking. I'm going to use a font I downloaded called Lemon Milk. You should also either choose a color that contrasts well with the background, or give the text an outline. You can give the text an outline by right clicking on the layer on the right, and clicking on Layer Styles. Then you can click on Outer Glow, and change the color, opacity, hardness, and size until you have something you're happy with. Once you're done with that, click OK, and now we can make it bigger. Right click on the layer again, and click on Rasterize Layer. Then you can go to Edit and Free Transform to resize the text. Again, make sure to hold Shift while you're resizing. Now we can move on to branding, which is the simplest part. You want people to be able to visually tell that this video is yours, and the thumbnail should communicate that. 
The way I do that is to import my channel logo, resize it so it's a little smaller, and put it in the corner. If you're going to do this, make sure not to put it in the bottom right corner, because that's where the time of your video will be, and it will cover up that part. Now that I've added that, I think my thumbnail is done. Thanks for watching! If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section and I'll answer them as soon as I can. I'll see you guys later. I hope you have a wonderful day.